Hi, my name is Tina. I'm a student in high school. I'm a senior. Um, and here's a poem that I wrote. Um, it doesn't have a title, but I just sort of conceived it one day. I was walking down the street. I was walking home from school, actually, and it was dark, and the stars were just beautiful where I was walking, so I sat down, and I took a notebook out, and I just started writing. Um, so here we go. Kicking pebbles, shuffling feet, scale the gravel centimeter by centimeter, eyes stinging with dust and memories. I lift my head to the sky, startled by the stars like silver pinpricks scattered carelessly across black marble. And out of habit, I search the darkness for Orion's belt, the only constellation you taught me to find on that warm August night. We used to lie with our backs against those yellow rocks as a midsummer breeze whispered in our ears. We ate popsicles, sticky and sweet like the air, those ones that changed colors. And we would compare tongues, mine blue and yours green and sometimes purple. But it's been years and people drift, but stars, stars don't. Oh, Orion, you've been here millions and billions and zillions of years, and don't you ever feel like exploding? I can't get by one day without wanting to burst. So teach me, will you? Teach me to shine on like you. And from behind a cloud, a swollen moon peeks down like the innocent face of a child. It has a certain softness like your eyes used to when your bangs swept over your face. They say eyes are the windows to the soul, and your soul is like smooth coffee with a few dribbles of 2% milk. And I ask myself why, when I lay in bed, I still see them in the dark, like burning wallpaper. Tell me, Moon, how do you defeat gravity? And perhaps in a parallel universe, like planets, we were meant to collide. But our diverging orbits leave empty, aching galaxies in my ribcage, a black hole eating up all oxygen. Tell me how you chase the earth night after night while I can't go one day without wanting to break. So teach me, will you? Teach me to shine on like you. And suddenly a car blazes by, we'll strike asphalt as it roars on home into the arms of loved ones, to chicken noodle soup simmering over a fire, to new episode of Glee. And I think to myself, all of these cars are going somewhere. Where am I going? Where am I going? Like a dying ember, the sound of whistling air decrescendos into silence, and I no longer hear those words you hurled at me, cutting somewhere deep like an oboe on high C. Suddenly, I can hear the crickets, and suddenly I stop. I stare. I sit. I shiver. And no longer will I allow your ghost to plague me. I close my eyes and release myself into the deepening blue. And kicking pebbles, I lift my peeling black flats and I put one foot in front of the other, making my way slowly to a place where I will no longer know your name. And I can hear my own heart beating, a bold refrain to the song we call life.